Sin surrounds you. Faith empowers. Belief overwhelms. No! Impossible! How? This isn't over. This will never be over. I will... Quick little update on my Blazing Selvo Totem build that I played yesterday and the way that I've reworked it into something a little bit better. So if you saw the video from yesterday, you did see that I had some issues keeping the totems alive. I had some issues doing enough damage. I had issues all around and it didn't feel particularly awesome. I wasn't in love with the build, but I decided to stick with it and see if I could push it a little bit further. And what you see here is close to where I finished it. Unfortunately, I didn't save the POB before I totally finished it. So this is like 90 to 95% towards the end, but I think it's good enough to get a good idea of what I was doing. And it was pretty good. So as you can see, we, it says 1 million DPS per totem. We have five totems, so we're at like 5 to 5.1 million DPS. A little bit more than that if we count our other utility skills. And for defense, we have a little bit of block, 40,000 armor, and a good amount of life and really huge life regen as well. Yesterday, we tried to keep it around one divine investment. What I did yesterday is I spent a little bit more. This was still in like the five-ish divine range. This is not expensive. The big thing that we did is we switched to a crown of the inward eye, a skin of the lords. I bought a bunch of like level 20, 21 gems, made sure that those are all capped out. Recrafted some of my gear here to get a little bit more damage, a little bit crit chance. Recrafted the shield to get plus one totem. And then tossed in a bottled faith as well, which is basically most of the improvement there on the, uh, <laughs> the investment. Uh, as you can see, the Bottle Faith is only giving us about 100,000 DPS per totem, so pretty minor in terms of the investment and the, you know, the reward for that. This was really comfy. Honestly, I found it in terms of, like, clearing maps for only spending a handful of Divines for a League Starter if you don't have to get into Uber Bossing. Really, really, really comfortable. I'll, I'll put the POB for this below. It's, uh, it's fine. It's not something that I would even put too much work putting a build guide into. But if you're interested in the spell totem playstyle, it did feel pretty good. But now on to the main event is this Stormburst totem build. The amount of damage that we're actually doing here is like honestly kind of tough to estimate due to the way that Stormburst works. There's certain breakpoints with the timers that are like kind of expecting the boss to stand still. Considering that I've only invested like 15 to 20 divines right now, we're in like the 20, 30 plus million DPS range and it's pretty cool. And hopefully this looks as awesome as I want it to be. There we go. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the defenses are not, I mean, this is a pretty rippy map. The defenses are not incredible. It is a mind over matter build that we have like no other defenses whatsoever. Trying to get enough defense is honestly like pretty hard. We don't have easy access to spell suppression, especially as a Templar. But yeah, this setup, it's taken down a couple Ubers, not super comfortably, but yeah, it feels pretty cool. And the theoretical ceiling for this build is insane if you invest into it. This 41.8 million DPS is per totem. You know, this is with a mage blood and a three passive voices. But even if that damage might be cut in half, the estimated damage with Stormburst is kind of funky. That is still 60 million DPS. And, you know, if, if you do reach the theoretical max output, we are looking at 120 to 130 million DPS there. That can delete literally the hardest content in the game in just a couple seconds. The lack of defenses here is not a problem. You know, if you're looking for like... I don't know, kind of a cool, different little archetype here if you haven't played Spell Totems. For the same investment, you know, you could just do Lightning Conduit, do the same amount of damage, and probably be a little bit tankier as well. And mapping would be a lot more comfortable. It's not the craziest thing in the world, but, you know, if you are totem curious, this might be something that you want to try out. Really cool thing here is that uh, I was able to cap out my res with an Annihilating Light. Annihilating Light makes us do triple damage. You have to make sure that you buy a perfectly rolled one. I think I bought this for about 70 chaos this morning. Um, there's a couple people price fixing them. Like there's multiple people that have like 10 of them that are listed. So be wary of that. I don't know what's up with that whole situation, but yeah, we can take advantage of fractured and mirror jewelry this league right now, which allows us to cap our res incredibly easily, get a decent amount of life and mana here without too much investment. If I wanted to push this like significantly further, there's some really cool mirror jewelry that has like plus 150 mana, plus 200% mana regeneration rate. I do think like if you get that going well enough, you could probably spec into Agnostic 
which will be recovering insane amount of life per second. But you do need to get a very high amount of mana regen. As you can see, I don't have like a ton, even with my flask up. If you get that whole thing going, I think this could feel moderately tanky, but you're still going to be getting one shot because we don't have spell suppression. The sacrifice to get enough block and spell block, I think is just a little bit too much. And this is the type of build where as long as you're not like getting one shot as you're mapping around, the idea is put your portal down before you fight a boss, drop all your totems, try to stay away from getting one shot. But if you do, your totems will finish them off anyway because they're doing so much damage. And I do think that that's probably just the right way to build this. Yeah, I was sitting here like futzing around last night. Like, you know, I have my hardcore brain from playing so much hardcore recently that I was like, okay, how do I get some block? How do I get some recovery? Da, 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 da. And I was like going down that route. But then I was just like, no, 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 hold on. I got, I got my history of being a softcore trade player. What do I do? Put down a portal, double my damage, and it's easier. <laughs> Why not do that? And I do think that that's like really the right way to build this. This isn't going to be a build guide. I'm going to push this a little bit further, try to make it a little bit comfier. I'm going to take down all of the Ubers on stream today, if you want to join me there. I have taken down Uber Cirrus, Uber Maven, and Uber Exarch. None of them comfortably, I, I will say that, like... This build does just fall over like paper and get one shot, but I've taken down three of the Ubers already. And if I push this a little bit further, I get like one or two more million DPS per totem, you know, for another five to 10 million DPS. I think this, this could be a very easy, like drop your totems, run around like a chicken with your head cut off. Could just take down the Ubers without too much work. So yeah, I'll put the POB for the tanky blazing salvo version and what I have right here down below. And then we're gonna hop on stream a little bit later today, push this a little bit further, take down all the Ubers, and then we'll do like a, a final summary this weekend. So yeah, anyway, just a quick little update for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.